Welcome back. This is Dave's Garage and this project for my Versys X300 uh, was to determine the best windshield design, windscreen design. And after m much to do, this one turned into a really a half a year project because of every iteration, you know, to modify a design for the windshield, it took um, at least a couple of rides in different conditions to determine what the, the, the pros and cons were of each decision or each design. So this really got big. I've boiled it down to the thought that um, for those that don't want to sit through a long uh, video and discussing a lot of the um, design facts, design flaws, design pros and cons of these windshield designs. I'm going to make a small or short version. So if you're watching this one, um, you have to look at the time. If this thing is over 30 minutes long, you're watching the long version. If it's, I'm hoping to hold it to about 10 to 15 minutes. If you're looking at the time of this video and it's, let's say, 10 to 15 minutes, then you're watching the short version. I'll, I'll go ahead and publish both. Let's uh, get this one rolling. Welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at um, something a little different than I have in the past on my Versys X300. And that is the um, windshield and extension and also uh, a bracket that I purchased and have been uh, testing out now for, oh my gosh, probably 1,500 miles. And uh, I think I can do better. So this bracket that I'm talking about here was a store-bought um, on Amazon, cost about $45. And it has these slots and there's like two rows, right? This is like a box of uh, thin aluminum. The box comes up um, and hooks on with uh, four new additional screws. So you've got the original four screws from the bike where the windshield used to be. Then this raises it up on these slots, two inches. And between that and this, uh, I guess it's about four inch extension. Um, I've managed to get a lot of air uh, buffeting in my helmet uh, reduced, considerably reduced. And this is all well and good, but because this metal is thin and turned sideways, it, it actually is, it's got a lot of movement as you can tell here. It's it's just not firm. If you change the design to where there's more material, uh, th this would have been so much nicer. I went ahead and um, I'll show you here later in, in the video, but I went ahead and mimicked this type of approach where I'm going to raise up the, um, the stock steer uh, even taller than this one. I think I've got it kind of laid out to where I want to have about a four inch gain. And then instead of having this be really thin um, aluminum, I chose to go with like a just a, a brute piece of aluminum billet. So that's the goal. And then behind it, at the very top of my new bracket, um, I'm going to have another store-bought piece of um, handlebar extension. There's the goal. There's what we're after um, to raise the steer, uh, raise the um, windshield up a little higher than it is now. What I'd like to do is eliminate this extender. Eventually, where there's flex. There's stress. Where there's stress, there's fatigue. And as we know, where there's fatigue, there's going to be breakage. Something here is going to give eventually. So that's the goal, to get rid of this, raise the windshield up, and then give that some test, test runs, some test mileage. And um, the idea is that I want to keep the bike looking kind of stock, just get this windshield up a little higher than it is now. I don't think there's going to be a problem. So that's what we're up to, and um, wish me luck. Junk corner. It's gone through a facelift. This winter I've, you know, been off the bike and too cold outside to mess with the bike much. So, um, kind of cleaned it up a little bit. Got my stuff all organized. Lots of parts, lots of stuff. More stuff, still more stuff. Top secret project. You didn't see that one. Um, this is what I've got going for the bracket on the bike. This is a piece of half inch a five by eight piece of aluminum billet. Okay, after the uh, the uh, large piece of billet aluminum was um, hacksawed and and you know down to the shape that I wanted it, and <clears throat> I ended up with this. 
I've left these pieces. This is what I had to cut off, but it turned out well. I left it kind of a brush finish. It's taken upstairs and, and fitted on the bike on the X300. Okay, the uh, new bracket has been uh, fitted onto the X300. So let's just take a look at what we've got here. Um, this is the bracket. It goes up underneath here. One piece back on. I've got two pieces of equipment, right? My, my um, GoPro mount and my um, phone wireless uh, charger. So I came up with this little guy. This is actually for bicycles. It's cast aluminum, solid cast aluminum, one piece. The old bracket was just, uh, you know, folded up aluminum, and it's it's pretty thin, uh, welded up aluminum and stuff. And you know, the the reason they spray paint this stuff black is just to hide all their crappy welds. But where this got into trouble, you can actually see it here. It started to fatigue right there in that, that thin spot. You can see where the finish and stuff is starting to crack. Well, we're progressing with our experimental uh, windshields on our X300. But where I think we left off is I've had one of these little small uh, accessory windshield uh, extensions actually mounted to the base of the windshield. This is a stock windshield. And the goal here, again, is that when I've raised the, the windshield up, I've, I've now opened up some gaps. And that made things considerably worse around the helmet. So that's a bit counterproductive. Um, kind of a bit disappointing, but hey, it just gives us a, another data point. So I had one mounted here, took it for a couple of test drives just now, and it, it's a windy day. So this is gonna be kind of a test of the testing of the, of the, in, of the test environment, I guess. But um, I think maybe I gained a tad, but again, this is not enough to, to really do it. So um, as you can see, I've got two brackets. Um, what's better than one? Maybe two. So we're gonna go with two, one on each side here that's completely adjustable. I'm gonna jump on the bike with two of these on here and um, well, after uh, two or three more iterations of uh, moving a little uh, auxiliary or, ex or extending the uh, windshield and little extenders. Um, the final um, attempt, I guess, today to make something happen is I have, I, I tried them down below, then I've tried them, uh, this is my last attempt here, just trying to make things look a little wider. And this actually had some promise. For a while there I was going backwards, but you never know and you can't learn anything if you don't just try a few things out. And, um, you know, rather than rely on just laboratory or somebody else's word for it, I'm out here on the street making making some attempts. I'm not done yet. We're going to keep going. Okay, um, just got back from a road trip and um, some major improvements happened with this um, rather unusual concoction that I've come up with. Buffeting around my helmet has been greatly reduced the airflow and, and air, you know, resistance and, uh, I don't know, just turbulence and stuff around my shoulders and arms are, are virtually gone with this design. It's just non-existent. Um, now around my helmet, if I kind of duck down just a little bit, the uh, stability also, I mean, these are just, these are just plastic. These are just plastic PVC. Um, and just held on with some, you know, some screws down here at the bottom. And my crazy design to, you know, stay out of the way of the bark busters, it's, it's working fine. Imagine that. So um, it just looks rather ridiculous, but that's okay. I'm learning something. So I'm thinking that I'm going to go out again. Maybe I'll put one of my extenders back on. This is what I wanted to eliminate, though. I don't want the extender on top. That's the whole idea behind raising the, the uh, windshield up four inches. I try to pay really close attention to, you know, some of the uh, discussion around how you, 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 you make airplane wings and, you know, everything's got to be kind of a, a curve, no flat, you know, no, nothing sharp, nothing, you know, the, the, to create turbulence. And I think this, this design here kind of hit the mark. And another observation is, let's say I leaned forward and whatever, it seemed like things got better. 
the further back I, I put my helmet, my head, you know, like lean forward, lean back, the further back I went, it was definitely more turbulent. Yeah, uh, we're up to about version 6.0. As I mentioned in prior videos, I went ahead and put my little extender back on. It measures right about at four inches. So with this four inches on top of raising up the uh, windshield four inches, it's a total of eight. And uh, good news, bad news, the good news um, with this extension, pretty much on the same plane as the windshield, the uh, amount of buffeting on the, on the helmet back here dramatically reduced. So in conclusion, um, if you're still with me after all these segments, I do appreciate it. But uh, I've learned a ton of stuff here, and I hope you have along with me. In conclusion, going wider definitely deadens the air around the arms and shoulders. Going lower to fill the, the opening that got created when the windshield went up by four inches. Putting this back down in here to close this back off again uh, definitely lessened the buffeting. Without anything down here raising just the windshield up four inches, uh, not so good. I mean, it, it was more of a rattled and a buffeting I mean as so just lifting it up is no good you have to kind of backfill down here as I tried with those little uh, extenders the, the dual extenders that I was moving around down here figured that out without you know backtracking and filling in this this hole that got created by raising um, raising the windshield without you know without without going up at least six inches um, you know a, a lot of gains are not made Going up eight, um, definitely cut way down, way, way down, 80, 85%. And again, just adjusting where your, your head is, you can pretty much tweak it down to near zero. So anyway, that's pretty cool. A lot of experimentation and a lot of, uh, a lot of insanity here. Maybe one more little segment after I get this all sorted out. Uh, the saga continues. I've got another iteration of windshield. Um, prototype on my bike. What I've done is I've created more coverage here out front on my uh, on my uh, adapter here and I skinnied this down a bit because with the um, but in going skinny and down here uh, what I gave up the old green or yeah the green and black design really hugged the bike I mean, really came in here and just really hugged the bike. I mean, there was only a half inch of clearance. And that kept a lot of the air from coming in. So this design is flat. It left this um, wind tunnel on both sides. And it hits me right across the shoulders and across the uh, face of the helmet. So um, the, um, the air noise in the helmet increased dramatically, which is not what I'm after. So... Um, I gotta go back to the drawing board again. This is a fail. <laughs> what can I say? So um, we're gonna keep trying. I don't know where we're gonna end up with all this stuff, but um, hey, if I wasn't learning anything, I'd just quit. So every iteration, you know, I, I learned some more stuff. So anyways, from um, iteration number, I don't know, I'm losing track. Six, eight, pick one, I don't know. We're gonna keep trying. Um, this was interesting. I think I've dialed in most of what I want in the way of coverage up here. But down here, uh, I'd give it a fail. Unless you want a lot of air hitting you right across the shoulders and in your face, like on a really hot day, where you want just that, that air that just comes in and just, just canvases you right, right across here. That would, this is your design for that. But any other day, um, I'd say, mm, nah, we're going to keep trying. The home run here, I guess, the final final episodes. Um, we're going to go, I'm going to go with the um, design I had with the yellow and black uh, scrap plastic. Uh, larger, uh, like a double, double wing type of approach. I've got my two wings back on. I've got all the white protective films off. So I've got my, uh, my left and my right wings on. And they're a little staticky. Piece of grass on there. 
but they they're um, they mimic the um, the bright yellowish green and black plastic um, pieces I had on here before. They're on hinges that are uh, they're self-closing um, hinges that hold you know these these wings here in place. Um, it came out real nice. Um, you know the, the edges and everything. I so I've got uh, the original windshield. I've got my thick aluminum um, bracket that I made that um, is beneath there. Then I've got my like what I call my adapter. This is another piece of polycarbonate, quarter inch thick. Uh, it kind of mimics the the silver bracket, but yet it's a little different to accommodate the two um, hinges here, which then just come out to the wings. This is a really large form factor, and again, that um, when it comes in contact with the with the uh, bark busters, the concept here is that these will just give, move out of the way. Might need some fine tuning on that, but um, all right. So this will be like my cooler weather winter type of arrangement, and you've already seen you've already seen my design that just takes the place of the two wings i don't have the protective film off this yet but this is another piece of lexan or uh, plexi uh, geez polycarbonate this here anyways is for my summer it allows more air under here like i mentioned it hits you right in the, in the shoulders across the chest which for really hot weather like actually we're having right now would be the best design to put back on the bike but just six screws i can go back and forth uh depending on uh you know super hot or or warm weather or not warm weather i shouldn't say done this will never be done with with everything that i've learned so far and maybe some other things i can think of to try um, to get uh, a more uniform design uh, or just you know who knows down the road i might just go with a you know with a store-bought version um we'll have to see so from dave's garage that's a little hot and sweaty today um We'll see you at the very final. Welcome to the last installment. This is the um, the phase or the, the design that I'm going to stick with here for this summer. These are the polycarbonate little wings I put on here. One on each side. Original windshields here. And again, my little clear, um, what I'm calling adapter. It's in front of my, um, my really super heavy duty aluminum bracket that I made out of half inch aluminum billet and I'm sticking with the little um, expander here or extension uh, for the time being as uh, if I just leave it at this height then I end up with still quite a bit of wind noise around the helmet with all that I'm gonna sign off here from Dave's garage and um, I'm thinking about or I have thought about making two versions of this a short version and then a long version so if you're sticking around for the long version appreciate it if you're sticking around for the short version and you want to see how I got here this is kind of like where I'm leaving it for the moment or for the year if you want to see how I got here and all the intermediate steps and the fails and the successes then watch the long version